Hey Beverly, just came in the front door. So when you enter the front door, you come into the living room. And the living room has a nice fireplace. It's a gas, gas log kit in the fireplace. Nice big windows. And the lights are on, but to be honest with you, they probably don't need to be. There's a lot of natural light. It's a pretty good size bed or uh, living room. To the left of the front door, walk through a kind of a big opening into your dining room. More vaulted ceilings. Their kitchen has nice vaulted ceilings too. And they have real hardwood, which is nice in the living room and in the dining room and down the hallway. This house is beautifully decorated. Now they do have a Formica countertop. It's in really good shape. Lots of cabinet space, tons of cabinet space. I really like the glass door cabinets. I like those a lot. Lazy Susans in each corner. Dishwasher, of course. They have the subway tile backsplash, kind of like the one house over on Henderson did. So they don't have a formal pantry, but they do have this really large double cabinet. And that cabinet is probably four feet wide. I mean, it's really big. And then, of course, this house does have a garage. So it's a 16-foot door, so it's a two-car garage. Lots of pegboard for storage. Breaker boxes in the garage right over there. No big cracks or anything crazy going on other than just some stains on the concrete. You do have some sheetrock tape kind of bubbling. And to be honest with you, in a garage, that's kind of a losing battle. It, it just gets so humid. But um, garage is in good shape. You do have a few stairs to go up in the garage. This door goes outside. We'll check that out in a minute. So if you come in your garage, you just come right into the kitchen. Through the living room, down the hallway, first door on the left is your bathroom. Has a linoleum floor. They have a extremely clean fiberglass tub surround. Just very tastefully decorated. I love the colors of this house. Lots of grays. This is kind of actually a grayish beige, but it looks really good. Linen closet just outside. Oh, actually, it's a cloak closet. My mistake. There's some extra storage. Washer and dryer in the hallway. Little extra storage. Got some shelving above it. Got a linoleum floor in there as well. Guest bedroom on the right. Hardwood floors throughout back here. Decent size closet. So we have carpet in the back two bedrooms 
And this carpet, it's a little bit worn. It's not horrible, but you can definitely see there's a little bit of a trail going through it. Bedrooms are not bad size. They're, they're not huge. Um, they're probably about 10 feet wide, maybe 12 feet long. Same exact closet that was in the other bedroom. This one's just on the other side. And then across the way we have another bedroom. Slightly different carpet in this one. It has a small run in it. Um, not, a, not a huge run. It's probably 8 inches long or so. Right where you walk in. And this room is considerably bigger. Has a nice big closet. This closet is probably about 10 feet wide, 3 feet deep, maybe 4 feet deep. Folks live here, but this house looks professionally staged. Their, their decor is amazing. And then we got our master bathroom. Double vanity. Those were probably just oak cabinets at one time. They've painted them black, but they look pretty good. Linoleum floor. This one has a jetted soaking tub, and it also has a fiberglass shower. Shower on this one's a little bit smaller, about three feet, three feet wide, three feet deep. 